Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, hands down one of the best games released this year in 2022 is TMNT Shredder's Revenge and a lot of people are asking if and when is this game going to get any type of DLC. Well, in a recent exclusive interview with CockatcherPuree.com, Eric LaFontaine, who is the marketing and publishing manager at Tribute Games, the developers of TMNT Shredder's Revenge, shared this about the possible DLC creation process for the game. Well, it depends R right now, and I, I, I'm hearing the sub question say, is there a DLC coming out? <laughs> People are requesting DLCs. We want more levels, we want more bosses, we want more playable characters. So all of this, uh, you know, just like, just, just Casey, for example, just Casey wasn't planned from the get-go. So um, adding Casey was, was an idea and it wasn't, uh set in stone when we started the process the whole production process reason is adding casey adds hundreds and hundreds of hours of animations you know adding a character is a lot of work and if you add a character you know it can create like more bugs it opens like cans of worm for a bunch of things and all of that it will impact the project it will impact the release date you know, we had to juggle with this and the plan also is to, to get the game, the game out, you know, in a timely fashion to, to want to please the fans, to, uh, to make sure that all parties are, are happy with the project. We cannot work on a beat em up for more than, you know, it took to us two years from A to Z to, to get the game out. So if we, we thought of adding more and more and more, you know, the game wouldn't, wouldn't be finished today. So it's all about like choosing what do we absolutely want in the game what can we you know put aside now dlc it all depends on what in the end is, is uh like the decisions that are made right now we're not in a position where you know the game has been released it's not even two weeks now <laughs> and it's too early to to uh you know it's successful for sure um we didn't uh, announce any you know numbers yet uh we're not ready yet to to announce anything when we'll be able to assess, you know, how the project is doing with all parties, because it's not it's not us to decide, you know, it's in the end, it's to Dotemu, it's obviously to Nickelodeon, and there's probably, you know, even more people involved higher up, you know, to say that will greenlit this or even offer us, you know, the uh, the possibility to do a DLC. Would, would, would Tribute be interested in doing the DLC or like working again for, you know, for that project? <laughs> I mean, yes, for sure. <laughs> but right now it's really too early to say. And timeline, it all depends on, you know, on what would be chosen if we had that opportunity. So, as Eric LaFontaine has stated here, a concrete DLC plan has not been confirmed or discussed for this game as of yet because it's way too early. This game was just released a couple of weeks ago and the official sales numbers haven't even been released to the public as of yet. Now, he did state here that Tribute Games would love to create DLC for this game, but of course, it would be a process to this because first, it will be discussions as far as what DLC will be made for this game as far as characters, possible levels, and things like this, and they will also have to go through the creation process itself, which could possibly take a couple of months. Now, in my opinion, I do believe that DLC will be coming to this game at some point, if this game sells very well, and from what I've seen so far from the eShop, this game has been the best seller so far since its release. I don't know about other consoles like the Xbox consoles, PlayStation consoles, and even Steam, but I know for sure on the Switch, it has been the number one best selling game on the eShop. And that's just digitally. The physical copies of this game have not yet been released and limited run games as well as other retailers have different physical copies for this game. So I'm pretty sure that when the physical copies get released, the game sales will be boosted as well. And more importantly, we can't forget about all of the fans, all of the different websites and outlets that are putting their bid in to have this game to be a candidate for game of the year. And man, if this game gets that type of recognition at this year's Game Awards, whether it's Game of the Year or Indie Game of the Year, I'm pretty sure that .mu and Tribute Games will try their best to create some type of DLC for this game. 
We all saw what happened with Streets of Rage 4. That game was co-developed and published by DiMU, and that game sold so well that a DLC package was created. I believe the same thing will happen with TMNT Shredder's Revenge. It's only a matter of time. Now, for those of you out there who would like to financially support this channel without spending a dime of your money, please click on my affiliate link down in the description box below to bestbuy.com. If you click on that link, I will receive a commission of 12 cents per click, which goes to supporting this channel so that we can host live streams and have giveaways like we did for Mario Day earlier this year. And with all that being said, that's going to do it for this video. And what are your thoughts on everything discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And please make sure to like and share this video. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.